All right, so oh, here you go, Team Heavy hitters. He doesn't like the uh, the distortion lens. Uh, so I'll give you a little car audio update. Um, haven't really done much since. Uh, I don't even remember when I last made an update video, but it's been hitting hard still. Um, I cut out part of that because it was kind of like in the way of your head, like when you sat here. It would like, for me at least, it would hit my head, and if you ever got rear-ended, that'd just be bad. So I took and cut part of that out. And this side here, I have like done. So I just gotta like paint it, and finally made room for my tweeter. I took my air hammer and just kind of pounded the metal out inside there. But it's solid. It's pretty thick, bondo and fiberglass and different things. But uh, yeah, that one I still haven't touched since I like first started it. I had cut a little bit extra. Bondo there, so I just kind of slabbed it on there. But uh, the pink stuff, you know, got to work on the green stuff first. But um, might be rebuilding here soon. I've been talking to a guy on YouTube, True Acoustics is his name. Um, but he he was the one that built the box for my truck or designed the box for my truck, and he oh, it's a seatbelt. There's something making a funny noise. Sorry about that. But anyways, he designed that box, and I, when I went to do this system, I looked for him, and I was like, yo, bud, and, you know, build me, can you design me a box? And I never heard from him, so I just kind of was like, cool, I'll build it myself, and, like, really screwed things up. So anyways, he uh, made a new YouTube and got back on, got back into things, and, uh, so yeah, he sent me a message. We've been messaging back and forth about different boxes and different things. He's going to design me a new box gonna go with six instead of eight and just two of the 750s strap them together so he said it should be enough to push them in different things so yeah gonna put my faith in him you can see I already took two of the amps out that is not because I'm like getting ready to rebuild yet but these amps you, know, you think you pay 200 bucks for them and they'd be good let me show you the two I took out part of the problem is these seats I screwed them right into the seats and they're like tin foil, just like the rest of this whole stupid car. Tin foil, I tell ya. But uh, here's the two I took out. Every single one of these amps, I got these little screws that hold these end plates on. And I've already gone through and like tightened them up like five times and they just keep coming loose. And this one here actually lost like all of them. And it was like holding on by nothing and it kept like popping and stuff. And I hit bumps and it was just like, bah, 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 you know? And then I'm like, holy smokes, I'm missing the, uh, the green light. So I was like looking for it, I just took this off and I was looking for it, couldn't find it. Here it is, you know, just ripped right off. So, you know, that makes me happy, but if we're going to downsize, I guess I'll just fix this one up and keep it as a spare or maybe sell it, I don't know. Don't know yet. So, what do you think? I stopped thinking about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think you got too many of those in the car anyway, so that's my thoughts. Wait, oh. What? I thought there was snow in your beard, but it's just turning white. So yeah, Buddy's going to design me a uh, new box, ported. Don't know exactly what it's going to be like yet. I told him I want like a happy medium between SPL and sound quality, you know. He was trying to convince me to go with the whole sound quality thing, and I was like, yeah, but, you know, it's a Corolla. We don't need anything, you know, too fancy. So, yeah, we're going to put a new box into her. So, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll even be able to like, have a back window again someday, but I don't know. Probably be way too hard to peel that paint off the back window and... Plus I already got these panels I already put in there, so maybe I'll just leave the two amps up there. And, uh, yeah. Put nothing on the seats, I don't know. I don't know, you know. We'll see what he comes up with for a design. I don't know how long it'll take him. We just, I mean, we talked back and forth for like two months, you know, about the whole situation. And then, oh look, a ring terminal. Nice. But, uh, well, yeah, look, I put in, put in crossovers. Finally. I feel like something's burning. Oh, it's my light. These things like burn when you first get them. They're awesome, and this is my second one. 
you know, I already took the other one back because it like broke on me. But yeah, got my crossovers in. Pumped about that, you know. So now I'm running four subs, but I'm sure it'll still be pretty loud. All right, so I figure I'm gonna start working on system stuff. Gonna at least get the batteries out today. I want to get my train horns working, but in order to like get my train horns out to like inspect it, I gotta take the batteries out. And since I figure I'm gonna be rebuilding the box and stuff already, I already have two amps disconnected, so. Might as well just take the batteries out now. So I'm going through the process of opening my trunk, which it's not as easy as just pulling a lever anymore. Got all this. Oh, I just broke my window almost. That was scary. So yeah. it doesn't take too much longer than pulling the lever, but it's a little more of a pain when you don't have a three-quarter wrench handy. right end of the wrench too. And some gorilla really tightened these down last time. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever actually shown how I like bolted my trunk. I gotta take out those. <laughs> what an idiot. But <laughs> Anyways, I don't think I've ever shown how I actually like bolted this shut, so once I get these two out, I can show that off. It's worked out pretty good, I haven't had any problems with it yet, besides the fact that you can't like open it, but I can't like store anything in there anyways. So and these bottom two are a little harder to put back in, but it is what it is. What are you doing? Giving my soccer bag. For what? At a tournament. Oh, are you gonna win? Probably. Who are you talking to? My camera. Oh, video on. Alright, so there's one of them. So it's just kind of hard to yeah, stick it through the hole in the trunk and then try to find where where the rod coupling is on the other side. So. Country girl, shake it for me now. Shake it for me. Shake it for me. Bye, bye. Country girl, shake it for me. Check out my new wrench. Yeah, I went out and bought this last week and exhaust fell apart. I was out of town and I needed something. Apparently it's a good one. It's what the installers at Sears use. That's what I was told. So, I got a good one. Yeah, I just drilled two holes in the top of my trunk, two holes in the back of the trunk. And then the two in the back of the trunk, I just took the uh, rod that goes through my box and I put, got some rod couplings for it. And you just pop right into there. And then these two here just go through the uh, bottom of my box. So, but yeah, the, the bolts to get my uh, train horn out. There's four of them. You can see half of two of them there and the other two are under the battery box so that's cool I was really good when I designed this kind of stuff it's really safe though you know no one's ever gonna steal it so because you gotta go know you gotta know how to get it out so I can't give away any more secrets looks like it was like leaking looks like it had the drip it was dripping or something I don't know I don't know so yeah see what we can do so there's my batteries a little bit of pain to get them out I ended up Having to take some, uh, a couple of my jumpers and screw it in there is kind of like handles. Well, yeah, basically it's just a MDF box. I took and drilled some holes before I put the batteries in, put some T-nuts in there, and then just put a rod through the bottom of the box or the bottom there in the car. And this one's the only one that actually stuck into the T-nut. The other ones just came out. You can see that's where my train horn bolts are. Kind of notched it out. Looks a little moldy. That's good. Mold's always good. But, it's weird. It's like shiny right there. 
Must use a different paint. I don't know. But I'm thinking about doing something different for the batteries. Maybe trying to mount them up front. I mean, it's 75 pounds of battery, but it's all behind my rear axle, so it really pulls on the front end. And uh, so it kind of stinks because I get no traction during the winter. So I'm going to try to see if I can do something different with them. But so now I got this open cavity back here. Took this green stuff here, kind of as like a vapor seal sort of do that. Reduce vibrations, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. I had five bolts in it. it. Worked out good. Held up good even when I got rear ended. So now I just gotta pop these four off and then the train horn will come right out. And I just gotta do something so I can hook my compressor up and one of the amplifiers for my mids and highs so I can still have music for the time being. But that's my cable, 3 yacht. I ran a positive and a ground from the front back. Seems to do alright. So, yeah, I sealed off my ports. I don't even think I ever got that on video. I took and filled them with foam. Didn't really have much of an effect, but it's a thought that counts. So, yeah, we'll pull this, pull this horn off of here and uh, see what see what the deal is. Holy smokes! That wasn't a good idea in the garage. 